Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and holy shit, if you haven't seen what is going on with Zack Snyder, I, I really don't know what to tell you. Oh my god, he's lost his mind. Like, ugh, dude, uh, take a fucking chill pill. I, I mean, really, I there's nothing more that can be said about this. He is in, he's, okay, so his movies are not bad, they're not my Batman or my Superman, they're not my favorite thing to even sit down and watch. What he does with them is darker than I like, um, generally, but he is good at what he does, right? Like, at least a little bit. I, I know there's a lot of huge Zack Snyder fans, and I, we've seen, like, it drilled with people saying, release the Snyder Cut, release the Snyder No, don't! Especially after this, like, I'm reading kind of what he had planned, and he's talking about, you know, Darkseid would have turned Superman evil, and we would have gotten Green Lantern to show up in Justice League, which I had kind of hoped for anyway, but, you know, they didn't make another bad <laughs> incantation of Green Lantern, so I'm okay that he didn't. Like, that movie wasn't bad. It wasn't, it, it wasn't great, but, um... There was a lot of good things about his movies. It just, the full thing wasn't there. It felt like, you know, it was just, just something was off about every single aspect. And unfortunately, maybe it's just because he was kind of a little crazy. He also talks um, that Darkseid would have killed Lois Lane. <laughs> I mean, oh, come on, buddy. There's so many things. He even talks about... He would have wanted ba to kill Batman, but, you know, I guess Ben Affleck kind of did that by himself. But I, I, I don't, I don't even know, like, I'm sitting here reading these things and I, I feel like I'm going insane. Like, some of his things make no sense and what absolutely makes the most sense or least sense to me is the stuff he said about our heroes. And so I found this article. And this one is actually from GameSpot. Um, there's just tons of them out there. All you have to do is type in Zack Snyder and you can get anything you want at this point. But I do feel bad for the guy. Like, I know he lost his daughter um, either while, while filming or shortly thereafter. I'm not sure exactly. Basically, WB came out and said that that's why he left. Come out, you know, not shortly thereafter to find out that he actually was pushed off the project post-production. Um, and replaced by Josh Wheaton and I Josh Wheaton does a good job it just the mix of the two styles just completely made it weird made it feel like wrong I don't not wrong I there's not even good word to describe it, it just the movie wasn't was originally um, shot under Zach's you know directorial vision and then to come in and try to put the humor and stuff Josh Wheaton offers it just didn't work but this is kind of where i um I don't, I don't draw the line i don't know what you say so there was a q a session um with the directors and basically i can't find the footage unfortunately um i've tried to and here's what he said though he says someone says to me batman killed a guy and i'm like fuck really wake the fuck up once you've lost your virginity to this fucking movie and then you come and say to me something about like my superhero wouldn't do that i'm like are you serious i'm like down the fucking road on that okay so oh <sighs> so batman killed a guy yes batman killed like 20 something people in um bbs that's not batman like I grew up with Batman and I I absolutely love the character. The the things that I love about the character are those things that he took away. Like the fact that it's not always black and white. It's not always kill or be killed with him. There's always a third option. Even if it's harder, even if it's a way harder option, he goes with it. Like that's part of his moral compass and to just turn around and be like, wake the fuck up. It doesn't work that way. You're taking something so built into this character that, yes, I know there's gonna be people out there that'll be like, well, in 1939, he used guns. I don't care. I don't care. 
I really don't care. Like those aren't, that's not my Batman. This character to me is the moral compass of good. He's the moral compass of um, loyalty and heroism and everything that you could want in a character. So you can't just flip the switch and say, okay, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck all the years of lore. Fuck all the years of, you know, people reading this. Let's just give his, you know, Batmobile guns and let's plow down a bunch of people. No, that's not how it works. That's not how you make something that fans are going to love. And this is why fans didn't love this vision you entailed because you ruined it because you ruined it from the ground up with flawed logic. And it's not even like that's where his flawed logic ends. Like he goes on to say, it's a cool point to view to be like, my heroes are still innocent. My heroes didn't fucking lie to America. Okay, Zach, my heroes didn't embezzle money from their own own corporations. My heroes didn't commit any atrocities. That's cool. But you're living in a fucking dream world. Like, shut up. Oh, my God. I can't even take it. I feel like he's probably projecting some politics into here. But no. Like, nobody's innocent. I get that even in um, looking specifically like at Man of Steel at the end um, where it's like you or he's got Zod and there you're not quite sure if he's going to either snap his neck or the family's in danger there's always a third choice and there is and so that innocence still remains there and that's what is part of the character it's what gives you hope as a reader or viewer um, of the movies you have that hope that your character is going to swoop in save the day put the bad guy in jail and that's it that's what the character is like literally Superman's symbol is hope. So why would you think that taking away that innocence is going to make somebody like the character more or relate to the character more? It's not. Um, my heroes didn't lie to America. Like, I, I really, I, I don't know where that's coming from. I, I can't even address that because I don't understand what heroes lied to America. I, okay. My heroes didn't embezzle money from their corporations. I'm assuming... Maybe he's talking about Bruce Wayne when it comes to, like, the Wayne Foundation or something. I I don't know. Like, just, I'm trying to sit here and think from a crazy person's brain. I mean, Zack Snyder. And um, I don't, I get it. I don't get it. My heroes didn't uh, commit any atrocities. He doesn't specify exactly what he means there. But, unfortunately, I, I don't feel like this part specifically it has anything to do with heroes. Like, I'm not living in a dream fucking world. It's called escapism. So maybe, maybe I am. Like, I literally read a comic book or watch a movie for that escapism. That's the whole point, right? So don't sit here and try to tell me that I'm fucking crazy because I don't want Batman to kill. That's the whole point. Come on, there's always another way. And yet, if you're trying, you're the writer, okay, so he is literally the doing this from the ground up, even like say starting when, even before Batman vs Superman came out. He has the screenwriter, everybody around. You have to, you can't just say, okay, you know what? Let's make it easy and let's make the ability for Batman to just plow down, specifically talking about that scene where he kills a bunch of people um, uh, with the Batmobile. That was the easy way out. And that's unfortunate to say that, but that was that was you being lazy, Zach. That was literally you being lazy. If you were a good writer, and I'm not saying that you're not, and I'm not saying that you're terrible at what you do, I just don't think you understand the characters is what it comes down to. There would have been another way. There is always another way, whether, whether it's hard or not, you have to look at it from that character or why didn't you just sit down with some of the um, really good writers like Chuck Dixon or um, Grant Morrison, somebody that wrote Batman well? And maybe you did. I don't fucking know. But this is beyond absurd. Like, I, I've seen a lot of people pissed off also about the killing of Lois Lane thing. And that's, and that's been done so many times. Like, 
I feel like with his original vision, he was going kind of taking it off of Injustice. I can't hardly see him actually have killed Batman. But for Darkseid to make Superman evil, we've seen that story before. And it's and it's not a bad story. Like, it's really not. But don't sit here and tell me that I'm fucking crazy. Okay, you can say I'm fucking crazy because it's not a lie. But now when it comes to Batman, oh my god. Yeah, this just, it pissed me off. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.